dislike the thought of your address, phone number, and your family's information being sold online? Imagine having your own private detective who scours the internet for data brokers selling your personal info. When they find it in the wrong hands, they help you take it back. McAfee Plus is just like that. A private detective helping you take control of your data and privacy. Get all-in-one protection with McAfee Plus. And learn how to protect your everything at mcafee.com slash podcast. Circle K's new free Inner Circle membership program is all about making it easy to reward you with the things you'll love. Sign up and save 25 cents per gallon on your first five fill-ups. Plus, get every sixth free on a tasty selection of Circle K products. We're talking piping hot pizza, fresh coffee, ice-cold fountain drinks, and more. Join Inner Circle for free by downloading the Circle K app today. Terms and conditions apply at participating locations. Visit CircleK.com for details. Don't sink too much money into it. Hey, everybody, I'm Kelly Wilkness here with Anita Joyce, and this is Decorating Tips and Tricks. Today is all about bathroom updates under a hundred bucks. Kelly, when I was a kid, I'm thinking about what I thought of as a well appointed bathroom. <laughs> And it had to have that fuzzy bath mat. You know the oh. one. And then Oh, it Anita, had... you've come so far. <laughs> and then it had the matching toilet seat cover, you know, mm. that matched the rug. Mm-hmm. And then there would be that extra toilet. Well, I'm not saying this was my ideal. I'm just saying this is what I saw. Okay. And then it... Yeah, I'm not claiming this. So, uh, and then there would be that extra toilet paper roll covered with a doily. And it kind of ended up looking like a hat. Nice. Remember yes. that on the back yes. of the I know could, you claim you could have been possibly it. crocheted a toilet paper. Oh, it cover. definitely was. It definitely was. Yes, that was the look in many a bathroom. So I just cannot tell you how happy I am that we've moved away from that. Well, if anybody's listening who's got that, we can't even call it granny chic. You got to move on and listen to our tips and tricks today. Now, a bathroom, I think, is the room that is easiest to make a big impact on with the least amount of money. It's a small space. There's a lot of functional items in there that just must be there. But you can really jazz it up for not too much money. And you're going to get a lot of ideas today with our really simple and affordable tips. So if your bathroom is basic, if it's boring, if it's even ugly, and if it even remotely has anything that Anita just mentioned, (laughs) listen up. So one thing you can do is change out that the mirror above the sink. The look that is so popular on Pinterest, I think is so pretty. And that is the rectangular mirror that has the rounded corners and a very, very thin gold frame. You've seen those, haven't you? Well, I may just have that exact thing on my list, a rounded rectangular gold (laughs) frame for 99 bucks. So I'm coming right in under the limit. Oh, okay. Well, mine's 75 and it's 20 by 28. Nice. Okay. Mirrors are going to make such a difference in your bathroom. So if you've got one of those sort of builder grades that doesn't have a frame or it goes wall to wall and, oh gosh, if it has some of those Hollywood lights above it, something like that, (laughs) you know, mm, you're going to want to get rid of that. Mm -hmm. And if you have a mirror and you really like the idea that it is so big and of course if it's that large it's going to make the bathroom feel a little bit bigger if you don't want to lose that effect then you can have it framed out you can have a carpenter do it you could do it yourself just make sure and here's a little tip because I've done this before when you're putting the wood molding on you're going to want to paint the back side, at mm-hmm. least the lip of the molding that's going to hang over, you'll be touching the mirror. You're going to want to paint that black because you don't want to see the wood or the lighter color reflected. The black will just sort of go away. But I love the idea of either taking that type of mirror down completely. And if you have a larger space, you could do two mirrors or you could do the one mirror. I obviously like the idea that Anita has with the rounded rectangular, but also I like a round in there. So I found a black round mirror for $59.99, and all these things will be linked in the show notes, so you can go check them out. 
also love a frameless pivoting mirror. That's mm-hmm. what Peter and I have in our master bath because he's 6'2 and I'm not, right? So we have the mirrors. You don't want to have one mirror for the short person and one mirror for the tall person. So it's really nice with these frameless pivoting ones. So they stand away from the wall a little bit. And so I can pivot mine down and I don't think he has to, but he could pivot his up if he needed to. So they're hung, obviously, uh, you know, they're a the equivalent height off the floor and off the counter, but um, I can adjust it so I can see myself. And those that I found are only sixty one eighty six. Nice. So the round ones you have to be careful with for what you just mentioned because they're not as tall as most mirrors. If you have very different heights, it's hard to get those where you can both see each other. Good point. So if it's not super big and round, then you might run into a problem. That's a Mm -hmm. really good tip. The tilt one, I think, is perfect for that. Yeah, I really like that idea. Lighting, so imperative. And, you know, I mentioned those Hollywood bulbs that may be above one of those big mirrors, but there could be just really ugly or boring lighting in your bathroom. Or if you put the light switch on in the bathroom and it looks like you could be doing surgery in there, then you're going to want to put it on a dimmer and you're going to want to maybe change out the fixture. So if you've got a fixture that's a flush mount that just has one bulb, well, you can change it to a flush mount that has several bulbs. You could get a flush mount that has four or five bulbs if you need something that's tighter to the ceiling. Of course, you could do a small chandelier. And when I say chandelier, it doesn't have to be a glass or crystal chandelier. Any type of hanging fixture could fall into that chandelier category. Or the very common lighting right above the mirror. So you could have, I would say, don't just do one. You could have two lights. You could have three, four, as many as that you can fit. There's usually a fixture that you can find. I like three lights in a a mid-sized, kind of normal-sized bathroom. I think that's a nice amount to have above a mirror. And I found this really nice lighting. It's a mixed metal, so it's black and a brushed gold. As I mentioned, it has three bulbs and they're covered in clear glass. Really pretty, $89. You mentioned the three light fixture over the mirror, and that is what I've selected also. This one is gold to go with that gold frame mirror, and it has three lights with a seated glass globes on each one. This is normally above $100, but today it is less than $100. So if it goes above, then, you know. Sorry. I, I know. <laughs> I, I checked it today and it was it was golden. So Well, like many things in life, snooze you lose. So get on it. If you hear this and you, and you want to check that out, go to the show notes, have a look, and then you can go right to the link and hopefully it's still under 100 bucks. Now, the best lighting in a bathroom for looking great is sconces on either side of the mirror. And you could also have something above, but you know, so when you're lit from the sides as well as the top, rather than just having the light casting down, you know, we always want a little up lighting. So if you can get that in your bathroom, if you've got room for that, then go for it. And I'm sure you can find sconces for either side that would be under a hundred bucks, but just that's just a little lighting tip for the bathroom, a little bonus tip. I think the sconces are better too. And that's what I have uh, in our bathroom. And I really like that look, but a lot of bathrooms, uh, you know, it's, you'd have to move them because most of them are above the mirrors. Right. And today we're trying to stay under a hundred bucks. So we're not going to tell you to get the electrician and and create new electrical boxes, but just keep that in mind if you're doing some renovation in your bathroom. Exactly. So the next item is something I think you can change out yourself. I would feel very comfortable doing this. And that is the toilet paper holder, which, you know, it's a minor player. It's not the main thing, but why not have something pretty? So I found one again, I'm kind of going with this gold theme. This is gold and very simple, clean, modern lines, less than $35. And is it one that you mount on the wall? Yes. And then uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. There's a towel bar that I found that goes with it. That's really beautiful, about 23 inches wide. And that's less than $30. 
I'm also going with a little gold theme. So we're gonna oh, we're gonna I have like we're, we're gonna have a beautiful bathroom. If somebody just wants to go ahead and click all these links, they can make a beautiful bathroom for what we're talking about today. And I need to make a good point. There are things in your bathroom that are gonna be minor players. These little things, it's in a room that you're in a lot. Unless it's a guest bathroom or a powder room that you're not using. A bathroom is a room that gets a lot of use, a lot of traffic. It's got to function well, but it also should be beautiful. So all these little things really will add up. And if they're under a hundred bucks, they're not going to add up too much for your wallet. So I think that's a great idea to switch out the toilet paper holder. Now let's talk about something that's a little bit more prominent, the vanity. Now, if you've got one of these stock vanities that either came with your house or you put in at some point, and it, it's just, you know, hmm, seems a little Dullsville, hey, paint it. There's so many great colors that you could choose. We talk about different beautiful paint colors all the time. Maybe do something pretty vibrant or do something bold. Just do something different if it's white or a beige or something like that. So give it a coat of paint, even if it's that sprayed on, almost feels laminated type of paint. I don't know the name of it off the top of my head, but I was just talking to my painter about a house that I was staging and we were talking about painting some aspects of her bathroom. And he said, oh, I'm just going to put on XYZ primer and that primer that allows the paint to adhere to that type of finish. So you can Google it. I could Google it for the show notes and we could pop it in there, but that's a great option. And then some new hardware. That is obviously something everyone can do themselves. If you've got poles, uh, just measure the distance between the two holes and then you know what size pole you're going to need to get. Or knobs, even easier. You don't have to worry about the size. So I found a pack of six warm gold brushed brass four inch pulls for $17.99. Now that's a pack of six. That's pretty great. And then a pack of five knobs in the same warm gold tone uh, for $16.19. So you know when you've got these kind of weird prices that it's an Amazon product. These are gorgeous. And wow, what a difference they would make on your vanity. Even if you didn't paint it, these knobs and pulls would be stunning. Or any knob and pull that you just change it up a little bit, something that didn't just come with it, something that's got a little personality is going to make a big impact in this space. Oh, I think that's a great idea. And I can't wait to see which ones you picked out for us. So the next item I have is a garden stool. We love a garden stool in the bathroom because they're ceramic, at least the ones we're talking about. So it's okay if you put a wet towel on it, if it gets splashed on, if you sit on it and you've just gotten out of the shower. I think they're great. And you can even put them in the shower if you have a large shower. So I think they're a nice thing to have. I I like something that's a little different. So the one I picked is a Sapavia ceramic stool, and it's in an aqua color. It has a woven texture, although it is ceramic, and it's shaped like a mushroom, but it has a flat top. So I think that would be a fun addition to your bathroom. There's also one in white, and it is less than $100. I love the garden stool in the bathroom. You can stack towels on it. You could put a basket on it. It could just be a little piece of interest on its own, but I like it inside the shower. It's a great place to put your leg up if you're shaving your legs. It's a great place to put your body wash or your shampoo, particularly if you don't have a niche where you can store those things. It is really useful and good looking. And yes, take Anita's point. It needs to be one with holes in it because you do want the water just to be able to flow through. It's easy clean. It's going to be ceramic, you know, similar to your tile. So you can just clean it with the same sort of cleanser you would use there. And mine is the very traditional in design to what you would conjure up in your mind as a garden stool. And it's white. It's also by Safavia, $99 and 48 cents. Ooh, just under the wire. Yes. My next item is a shower curtain. You knew we were going to go there. This is the biggest thing in the room. So if you've got a bathroom where you have a shower curtain, I think it's very important that you get a beautiful shower curtain. And there's all kinds of price ranges, really, and so many different fabrics. I found something that I think is quite nice, and it's by Lush Decor, who's a past 
sponsor oh, for our wow. podcast. Mm -hmm. This one had really high reviews because I was very concerned about it since, or, or all of these, I should say, because I couldn't see them in person. But I feel more confident with this one because it's a, had such high marks. So it's a duck egg blue fabric on the top and kind of an off-white on the bottom. And then where the two fabrics meet, there are some um, buttons. And then the fabric below, which is the off-white, is slightly pleated. And it really looks so pretty in the pictures. Oh, wow. You're going to love the one I found. So it's $19.99. It's 72 by 72. And it is almost a replica of a Turkish towel. So it just looks like a giant oh. Turkish towel. And you can get it with it's white with black stripes or white with blue stripes. Such a deal. And it has the fringe on the bottom. It is so good looking. I mean, it is polyester, but that's okay, particularly in the bathroom, because you're going to want to be able to throw this thing in the wash and not have to have it wrinkled and all of that. So I think it will be okay. I haven't purchased it myself, but for $19.99, I think that is a fantastic price. And if you really want a lot of of oomph to your shower curtain, you could even get two of them. And then, of course, just like a drapery, you would be able to have it a little fuller and feel a little richer. Oh, great idea. Yeah. Something I want to mention about shower curtains in general is they have the plastic liners. And I know we've joked about those before, but it really is no joke. They they do seem like they they were off gassing some terrible toxic stuff. I don't know. Uh, so if you can go with a fabric liner, it's a mm -hmm. fabric that's going to have some sort of coating on it, but it's not going to be that folded plastic liner that really super cheap comes in that little rectangle and then you <laughs> unfold it and it smells terrible and it has the, the folds in it for a long you time. Feel like you might throw up. Yes, exactly. Up and then you take a hot shower and then you feel like that really can't be good for me. So think about doing a cloth liner. And there are specific, not just getting another cotton liner. It's a specific fabric shower liner. Hey, we'll be right back with the rest of the show. But keep listening so we can continue bringing you DTT. Go ahead. Clean out your closet. Then head straight to Quince. I love every item Quince offers from wardrobe to decor. And I can really recommend their Ultra Stretch Super Wide Leg Pant at $49.90. The price is unbeatable and the look is so flattering. It keeps you in on top and flares out of the bottom. Everything feels right with Quince. The price, the quality, and the sustainability. Quince offers a range of luxury wardrobe and home goods at prices within reach. And like Quince's clothing, their home goods are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices, along with premium fabrics and finishes. Once you've cleaned out your closet and refreshed with Quince, you can also add something to your home decor. So give your wardrobe and your home the refresh it needs with Quince. Go to quince.com slash DTT to get free shipping and 365 day returns on your next order. That's quince, Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash DTT for free shipping and 365 day returns. Quince.com slash DTT. And let me know how you love those pants. Inevitably, with the new year, come wellness goals. One very effective and easy to reach goal is to add DOSE to your wellness regime. DOSE is expertly formulated organic wellness shots that support your liver in one delicious drink. Formulated with ingredients clinically shown to support liver health, potent turmeric, milk thistle, and ginger. There is zero sugar and zero calories. Did you know that your liver performs over 500 special functions? Since I learned all that my liver is doing, I started with DOSE to support all those vital functions. I take a shot of refreshing DOSE two times per week to combat everyday toxins from food, meds, alcohol, and unhealthy air. Since starting with Dose about a month ago, I am definitely feeling an overall improvement in my health. So if you want to give Dose a shot and invest in your health like I have, Dose is offering DTT listeners 15% off your first order, plus an additional 15% off if you subscribe for a monthly delivery. That's 30% off your first order. So go to DoseDaily.com. 
co slash DTT and use the code DTT. That's dosedaily.co.co slash DTT and use the code DTT. What about a lamp in the bathroom? I love having a little lamp in mine because when it's late at night and I'm coming in to brush my teeth and getting ready for bed, I really don't want all those lights on. Kind of, they just feel a little tacky that mm-hmm. time of night. So I really like just a very gentle light. And that's when I turn on that that lamp on my countertop. And this one is a crackle finish mercury glass. It's short. It's only about 20 inches tall. And it's got a gourd shape. And I love that shape. I think it's so beautiful and just very contemporary. And this one has a white lampshade. I like the idea of a lamp in the bathroom tremendously, just like I like the idea of a lamp in the kitchen. And I think it should be on the shorter side. So a gourd or something bulbous is kind of a nice idea. You don't want something that would be a tall table lamp. I mean, I guess unless your bathroom is tremendous because towels are getting flung around. I know a few times my I lost a few chandelier crystals because somebody you know put the towel like a turban and flipped their head back. And that is so funny because the same thing has happened at our house. Mm. And I'm thinking... How did the towel get up there? (laughs) So, you know, there's a lot of movement in the bathroom. So I would have a sturdier, sort of lower to the surface type of lamp in there. But a lamp in the bathroom, if you can get away with one, obviously be careful where you're putting it. There's a lot of water in the bathroom. And so, you know, you don't want to have it right on the counter necessarily. Not near the the tub. Yeah, not near the tub. Not near the tub. Don't knock it over into the tub. That's our big tip for today. How about some shelving? This would be more decorative shelving. You could put some pretty bottles or something on it, but this you could almost lean some art on. It's a slim but nice size width, 15.7 inches wide, brushed gold shelf with a little bit of a lip. It's very elegant looking, but it is also very modern. It's kind of streamlined. And again, kind of going with that whole brush gold black thing that I've got going on for my suggestions today. I just think it would be beautiful. It's $30.99 for one. So you could do one right under a bathroom mirror if you just wanted to have a little something right there. Or you could even maybe do three of them on a wall, maybe lean a piece of art on one, maybe like an eight by 10 frame, something or other. And then you could put some smaller items on the other. I love the idea of some shelves because then you can even just change out your artwork very easily Mm -hmm. with the shelves. Right. So my next item is a bathtub caddy. If you enjoy being in the tub, this is a great way to hold your book or maybe your iPad or your phone, uh, maybe a drink or something. And the one I chose is a wire caddy. Now, you can also get a wooden one. And if you're going to be using a drink, that might be a better option to get the wooden ones that have a flat bottom. But these are expandable, and they it stretches across your tub to whatever width your particular tub is. And it was actually on sale today for less than $35, but, you know, it may be more than that uh, when you're listening to this. That just seems so luxurious. I love the idea of that across the tub and you taking some time for a little self-care. It's really very nice. Even if you just have it there and you don't ever use it, it's just nice to look at. (laughs) Exactly. Speaking of self-care, now, of course, we love a tray. We love a tray anywhere. It's so useful and you can create vignettes on it. You can corral things on it. But I was thinking in the bathroom, it might be nice to have a little Lazy Susan if you've got the counter space. It's a small size marble, black marble Lazy Susan top. Obviously, you don't want anyone in there that's spinning it fast just for fun to have your, (laughs) you know, Chanel number five wing across the room. (laughs) I would just put pretty things on it, obviously, so it could be also a lovely display piece. It would feel intentional that you've kind of corralled your self-care products all in one place, easy to get to. So I think that's such a great option for storing things on the countertop. Board and batten. Anita defined that for us a couple of weeks ago, and I think that that would be such an easy addition to any bathroom. 
there are bloggers out there that have done this in a bathroom for under a hundred bucks. So you're really just talking about simple, nice plywood with some other strips of wood. It's pretty simple to do in that you don't have a lot of, um, routing to do. You don't have really even a lot of cutting to do necessarily. So if you're somebody who's skilled enough and you have the right tools, which is so, it's really, I think, 75% of the game with any of these DIY things is if you've got the right tool, you can do it. I think that is an excellent point. You need the right tools uh, and just a little bit of skill, maybe a little experience. And I think that you could do that. Yeah. And just go to YouTube University and you can usually find somebody who's done it and they're going to show you how to do it and maybe tip you off on some mistakes that they made so you don't make them. Exactly. I was just telling my family, they were wanting to know, how do I do this? How do I do this? And I said, have you tried YouTube? Because (laughs) you can learn how to do just about anything on YouTube. I don't even look up the user guides for the, uh, you know, appliances that I have in my house. I just go to YouTube because usually There it is. That's so true. And then you don't have to store all those manuals either. I know. So my next item is a tissue box cover. And I think it's so important, again, to just make everything as pretty as you can in there. So why look at the tissue box itself when you can look at a beautiful cover? I found several decoupage tissue box covers. You can also get the fabric that's monogrammed. That's beautiful, too. But I found an Etsy shop, Maria Holt Designs. I'll link to it. And she's got lots of different styles. So I'm going to link to all of those. So you can choose the one that you want because, you know, maybe you don't like the one that I chose. But I think that's a great option. She also has some really pretty waste paper baskets that are decoupaged. And I picked out one that has some pink roses, kind of a botanical look. And then there's some green paisley print around the uh, sides and back of the the waste paper basket. And it's it's really pretty. And why not have something a little pretty in there? Yes, all these functional things can be so good looking and with not that much of an expense, as we're pointing out today. Add a plant. And if you're worried about the sun getting to the plant, a lot of people have bathrooms without windows. You know, some ferns can really live in it almost only artificial light. So, you know, do your research on what fern you might get in there because a fern would be great. It's going to get a lot of moisture from the shower and whatnot. But if you have a window, then you really have all the options available to you. Most houseplants are happy with some sort of low light anyway, and they're all going to be happy in a humid area. So if you're taking showers regularly in that bathroom, your plant is probably going to be super happy. And if you're not comfortable with a plant in there, or you don't have the room, then definitely a bud vase. And get a vase that looks good when it's empty too, because sometimes you just don't have the time. But there's no reason why at least 50% of the time you couldn't have some pretty flowers in there. You know, you go to Trader Joe's, you go to the grocery store, get yourself a small bouquet and then cut it up and put it in instead of making one just larger vase filled with them, separate them and put them into little bud vases all around your house, including your bathroom or go clip some greenery from your garden. Boxwood will last for weeks in a bud vase. So cut it down, pull down off the leaves that would be submerged in the water, cut it on an angle, fill it up, and then maybe you have to change the water once or twice, but it could last a couple of weeks to a month. Mm, great idea. I love plants in the bathroom. I think that's a great idea. Another thing that you can do is add a rug. And when I say add a rug, I'm not talking about a bath mat. I'm talking about a (laughs) real rug (laughs) that you might use in a different room of your house. So not in the bath section, but in the area rug section. But of course, you're going to need to make it a size that's going to fit your bathroom. And so that's what I've done in my bathroom. So in in one bath, the powder room, it's very small. So I chose a very small little runner. And then in, uh, you know, our bathroom that's bigger, I chose, you know, a larger area rug in there. But I think that's such a nice way to add pattern and color and it's just soft underfoot too. Still, people think a bathroom and they think bath mat. (laughs) When people think bathroom, they think the very common bathroom items 
have to go in there, but they Shells. don't. <laughs> if, well, no, I'm not like you saying about the bath mat, like, oh, the bath right, mat. Right. And then you have to have, you know, this, and then you have to have the ugly toothbrush holder. Like none of these things have to be ugly. And the things that you put in your bathroom could be things like Anita said about the rugs that you would put in any room in your home. What about changing out your towels for Turkish towels? Those look so pretty everywhere, but you can use them in the bathroom too. And I have some that are kind of decorative that I have one that's decorative that I just kind of have hanging over the tub. That's a beautiful purple and white striped uh, towel. That would be a but show Turkish towel. That's my show towel. Mm -hmm. But the actual towels I use are Turkish towels, but I found some uh, that are very super absorbent. So they're almost like a, a cross between a regular bath towel and a Turkish towel. So they're pretty absorbent, but they're they're massively big mm. and they're fringed on the end. So that's my go-to towel. Yeah, that's gorgeous. And, and what a difference that would make other than just having a regular towel in the bathroom. And speaking of towels that makes maybe makes you think of towel bars or towel rings, I'm not a fan of the towel bar because I think that it needs a lot of maintenance. And maybe because of the way I grew up, my mom had a towel bar and, and she had the two towels folded and then the hand towels over it and then the face cloth on a, di you know, on a diagonal where the little triangle point would face down and you weren't really allowed to touch them. <laughs> so, <laughs> so maybe it was because of that, that I really don't like the towel bar because nobody's going to do that. They're not going to fluff your towel the way you want it to be. So it's either not going to look great and people are going to stuff it on the towel rod or if you just didn't use it. So what I like is hooks. It's so easy. Mm. And everybody can do a hook. You know, no, really hardly anybody can mess up a hook. So I found... Again, the brushed gold, a four pack, $17.99. These are gorgeous hooks. And wouldn't they look beautiful with Turkish towels hanging from them? Or actually any towel would look great because these hooks are stunning. Yeah, that's a great idea. And uh, we've got the robe hooks in our bathroom and that's where we actually hang our robes. Another thing you can do is buy a small ladder, the kind that you have for holding towels and just kind of use that as a leaner against the wall. And you can put your show towels there or the actual towels that people are supposed to use. Yeah, you know, that was a look that came on a long time ago. But I still think that's a good look. Mm -hmm. And I mean, obviously, the dip, your ladder can be very different. It could be really rustic. It, could, it can't be my chicken ladder, which, you know, remember I talked about that chicken ladder? <laughs> yes, I do. Well, somebody was nice enough to email me. And I guess chickens can go up ladders. So it was really a chicken ladder. It would not be wide enough for a towel, but maybe just a face cloth. You could fold a lot of little face cloths, but that would be weird. But I love the idea of a ladder in a bathroom, and that's a lovely way to display your towels. And also, how about adding a small chair or a stool? Now, it could be a little vintage chair. You know, there's all those little orphan vintage chairs that you see at thrift stores and consignment stores. Or just a little chair, like a child's chair, even if you've got a really small bathroom and you could stack towels on it, you could put a basket on it or something like that. It's nice just to have in there. Maybe somebody perches on it, or maybe it's just a place where you can you know, put your clothes when you're getting in the shower or something like that. But just another way to add some simple decor that would be very inexpensive and also really easy to change out if you got tired of it. And definitely add some art to your bathroom. Like I was saying earlier, treat the bathroom like you would treat any other room. We encourage you to do that in the kitchen, and people are definitely doing that. I'm not sure that people are so onto that with the bathroom yet. So think about what pieces of art would work in your bathroom, and it doesn't have to be beach-inspired. <laughs> <laughs> so, Anita, what are you defining for us today? Memphis Design. Yeah, so it's an influential postmodern style that emerged from the celebrated Memphis Design Collective of Milan-based designers in the early 1980s. And it was spearheaded by the Italian designer, oh boy, I think I'm going to butcher this name, Ettore Sotsas. Anyway, from 1917 to 2007 are his uh, birth and death dates. So it's bold colors, clashing patterns. And it's really a very extreme, I would say, approach to design. So it's kind of infused with pop culture and historical references. And it was a reaction to the very clean and linear mid-century modern aesthetic of the 50s and 60s. 
and then the minimalism of the 70s. So it was kind of a, a reaction. And um, I'll link to some photos. You really have to see it. It's almost like um, cartoonish. It's so strong in the colors. Yeah, it's very bold. It's very 80s, you know. So. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's the way to describe it. It's very 80s. <laughs> yeah, but that's good to know. Uh, we did a show a long time ago where we went through all the different design aesthetics and movements and and that was a small part of one of those episodes that we did but I think it's good to know and to understand all those things and I I love thinking about you what came in reaction to what and you know how things change sometimes it's very much a 180 and other times it's a slow progression into the next movement so green chef is a delicious delight any time of year but especially during the holidays what a wonderful vision to behold of the green chef boxes on your doorstep green chef is the number one meal kit for eating well And it makes eating well so easy with plans to fit every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat a more balanced diet. So let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season. And if you've got guests coming, shop Green Bundles. They're now available at the Green Market. It's your one-stop shop for nutritious grab-and-go breakfasts, including vegan options, brunch kits, wholesome lunches, ready-to-eat snacks, veggie sides, and more. You can feel your best this December and do your best with Green Chef because they offset 100% of the delivery emissions as well as 100% of the plastic in every box. Go to greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 60DTT and get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 6060DTT to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. BritBox just keeps getting better. The new Archie is amazing. And it's not the comics. It's about Cary Grant. Archie is the brand new limited series starring Jason Isaacs as Archie Leach, the man who became Cary Grant. From the award-winning screenwriter of Philomena, Archie tells Grant's born in Britain, made in Hollywood story, the dramatic grit to glamour transformation that led him to become one of the most famous people in the world. You are going to absolutely love the acting, but also the styling, the outfits, the scenery. It's the first time his story has been told in collaboration with his daughter, Jennifer Grant, and ex-wife, Diane Cannon. The performances from Jason Isaacs and the rest of the cast are amazing. And it's only available on BritBox. So sign up for BritBox today to stream Archie and other fan favorites from any device. And we have a special limited time offer for our U.S. and Canadian listeners. Get 50% off. Yes, that's 50% off your first month when you sign up for a monthly plan. But only if you go to BritBox.com and use our promotion code DTT at checkout. You're going to love Archie. So head over right now and get 50% off your first month of BritBox. Use the promotion code DTT at BritBox.com. Well, my crush, everybody, you're going to want to do this with me. I've started, but you can start anytime you want. Heather Robertson. I love that woman. She has helped me work out for years now. She's on YouTube. It's all free. She was my BFF all during COVID, and now she has her 2.0 glow up seven day challenge going on. And I want to glow up and, and be like Heather and look like Heather. So that's why I'm working out with her and doing this challenge. But I've also have done all her challenges, uh, the 12 week course she did initially. And when I say course, it's all free. And then she has recently done her 2.0 12-week challenge. I finished that. And then she rolls out her seven-day glow-up challenge. So I'll link that in the show notes. It's fantastic. You're going to feel great. Do it for yourself. Oh, that sounds wonderful. I may have to get on that train. That would be great. So my crush is the safe sleeve which is an EMF blocking cover for your phone. And I've, I've uh, featured one before a long time ago, but I'm having to replace mine because it was, it was so old and it gets used so much. Uh, so I was thinking, oh, I'm going to use this as a, a, a crush again because, you know, they're different styles and they change over the time. 
So the front flap blocks up to 99% of the EMF cell phone radiation. It also has a built-in wallet with RFID blocking for the for your cards. And it's vegan. It's vegan leather and it does have a, a stand to it. So I'll include a link. But, you know, if you're buying one of these, make sure you pick the color that you want. And also make sure that the one that you select is compatible with your uh, model of phone. Oh, yeah, definitely make sure it's compatible with your size and model of phone. But that's a great thing to have. And I, I like the idea of the wallet with the credit card. This blocks the R. FID, so no one can steal your credit card information as you walk past them. Oh wow, you've got that's like this, what that like, is super barrier going on. Well, yeah, I mean you should keep your credit cards in one of those cases. I have one, you know, because if someone gets up close to you, because now you just tap it on the uh, right on the machine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they can. St- if someone gets up close to you and has the right equipment, they can steal your information. Six feet, please. Stay away. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's just keep up the trend. <laughs> Staying safe on all levels. Well, this was so fun hanging out with you. And remember, we're here to inspire you to create a beautiful home. Until next time. Want to talk to us? Well, we really want to talk to you. So let's schedule a design consult. And Nita and I are here to give you individualized, actionable advice on how to create the beautiful home you want and deserve. It's so easy to schedule a design consult with us. Simply click the link in the show notes or head to decoratingtipsandtricks.com slash consult. When we talk to you on the scheduled time, we will be ready with so many great tips, advice, and yes, tricks. So sign up today for a design consult. We can't wait to talk to you.